Hi everyone, this is Jana, and in this video I will be showing you a watercolor card using the Hope Anchors the Soul stamp from Neat and Tangled. So for this background, I decided to play a little bit with gesso. Now, I will be honest with you, I'm quite new to gesso and I don't really know how to use it properly, but I thought I had this idea in mind uh, to cover my paper with gesso and then paint a watercolor background on it. So that's what I did. So I used some uh, regular smooth cardstock. This one is premium white from Daft Craft and I just covered it uh, uh, with uh, 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 a layer of gesso. I used a large paintbrush and I just spread it, uh, I spread it gesso across the paper. I used my heat tool to uh, heat set it to sp speed the drying process but you know if you don't have a heat tool you can just set it aside and wait for it to dry on its own. Now I'm using this Hope Anchors the Soul stamp from Neat and Tangled and I will be doing a little bit of resisting here. So I, I'm using a clear embossing ink and a clear embossing powder from American Crafts and I will be heat setting this uh, in a minute. Now before you do any embossing on your background you need to make sure that it's completely dry other way, otherwise uh, your embossing powder is going to stick uh, all, all over the place and you won't get that perfect image that you want. So now my uh, embossed image is all nice and ready and I'm starting to apply color uh, to my background. So here I have a couple of different inks and I've started with this uh, Spa Color Box Pigment ink from Clear Snap. I added it to the top left corner and now I'm adding a little bit of a Splash uh, ink. This is um, Clear Snap uh, chalk ink and I'm going back to some other pigment inks from clear snap and I'm just playing around and randomly applying different uh, colors to my background so this color is called ocean and I will also be adding a little bit of mint here and there and uh, and some other colors as well just to create a nice uh, background and a nice color combination. You can try this with any colors you like but I've been really hung up on this on these uh, like blue and aqua colors lately so that's why I'm using them all the time in my cards. So I thought I uh, needed a little bit more of that spa color so that's why I added more of it. Now I'm using just regular water and I'm spritzing my paper with a little bit of water and I'm trying to create that watercolor background so I'm just pushing water around and I'm playing with it. Now after I've added the water I, uh, I thought that my background wasn't quite uh, bright enough so I grabbed uh, some of my uh, spray inks that I have and the one that I just used is called the Glacier Lake and it's a color box spritzer uh, spray ink. I really like that color and I've been using it a lot lately. Now I also added this a different color, this sort of like a greenish color and it's a, a color magic spray from Heidi Swap and the color is called um, mint green. Now I've also added some more water to that just to help it move around and uh, as you can see here I'm simply holding my paper in my hand and I'm using a heat tool and I'm pushing all that water with all that color around my surface and I'm sim simply playing with it and trying to get the result that I want. Now since I was doing a resist effect now I'm using a, uh, a fabric kitchen towel and I'm just spritzing it a little bit with water and I'm wiping any um, ink that I might have on my embossed sentiment. Now this Hope Anchors the Soul has this little uh, the banner uh, and um, I thought that this little the uh, wasn't quite um, visible enough so I decided to go with a uh, mm, distress marker from Tim Holtz and I painted, uh, colored in the letters and I uh, once again added a little bit of water to sort of like soften that out and avoid any uh, rough edges, rough watercolor edges that I might have. So that pretty much finished my background and uh, for uh, my card base I wanted to add more stripes. I sort of felt this was more like a sort of like a uh, nautical uh, postal kind of card so that's why I went with stripes here and um, I used washi tape and one of my favorite techniques so I just masked my background paper and uh, I'm just going to apply a little bit of ink on the outside here to create some nice uh, stripes for my background and you'll notice here I'm not adding the ink on the inside of the paper just on the outside because nobody's gonna see the inside so I don't want to waste any ink there. Uh, 
I also used some double-sided adhesive to adhere uh, my watercolor sentiment. And I then added a couple of sequins here and there. And that pretty much finished up my card for today. Now, I do want to point out that using gesso uh, helped me create a lighter or more like a, a more vibrant background. So I really like the end result. And if you do have gesso, go ahead, try to experiment. And uh, I hope you will come up with something really nice and beautiful. Thank you.